All right. The place with the base in the stream that allows the FBI to fulfill their sexual fantasies, HacksRadio.com. Big shout out to the hackers and whackers. It's Saturday. My apologies for being late. Friday was very hectic, but it is time. Hacker News, first up in the headlines. Bogus report, 55,000 Twitter accounts compromised. Thousands of Twitter passwords were exposed this week, and the site was looking into the matter. According to a message posted on Twitter's Japanese blog, none of the recently leaked Twitter logins and passwords came from within the company. Twitter has assured its users that their personal details are secure after a post by document sharing site Pastebin reportedly contained 55,000 account login details. We have confirmed that no one's information has been leaked from Twitter, the blog said, after apologizing to users for their concern. Twitter added that it was also taking numerous measures to defend itself in case of any unexamined data is actually correct. It also warned users about phishing websites, which try to con login information out of unwary surfers to use strong passwords that are unique for separate sites. So far, it is yet to be established who can be held responsible for the attack, although media outlets have credited it to the hacktivist collective Anonymous. So, in other words, nobody is at fault. That's outstanding. Next up, Windows proving they are part of the machine. Windows 8 operating system will ban Firefox and Chrome. This is great. The new version of the Windows 8 operating system could shut down browsers such as Firefox and Chrome. According to Mozilla, Microsoft has been saying all along that x86 apps won't run on Windows on ARM, and it explicitly said there will be no third-party code on Windows RT when it announced the details of the platform back in February. There are no plugins for IE on the Windows RT desktop, as well as no desktop Firefox and Chrome. According to Mozilla, the makers of Firefox, Microsoft is planning to allow only one fully functioning browser on Windows RT, Microsoft's own Internet Explorer. Writing on the Mozilla blog, Harvey Anderson, general counsel for the company, lashed out at Microsoft for this slight and called the alleged move an unwelcome return to the digital dark ages where users and developers didn't have browser choices. So, must be time to go to Ubuntu. Anyway, next up, Anonymous in the headlines again. Uh, Let's see here, Anonymous, we are not terrorists but fearless freedom fighters. Black Ops 2 trailer that was released recently portrays the Anonymous organization as an enemy of the United States, which has pissed them off greatly. Anonymous has responded to the Activision's marketing campaign for Call of Duty Black Ops 2, which points to the hacktivist group as terrorists. The video was uploaded by YouTube user Alexis Anon, an account which was created only last week. It is thus important to underline the official Anonymous channels of communication have not confirmed they will be targeting activism. The being said, they are certainly aware of what the company did. This will, this act will show you how serious our collective us in that, that we will protect any human who calls himself anonymous, says the video's narrator, who wears a guy's FOSS mask. Also, activism CEO Eric Hirschberg has been doxxed and are threatening to cause a lot of damage to the company's infrastructure. I would take it that you should expect more. Next up, good lord. Human rights organization website serves ghost rat Trojan. That's outstanding. So when you think you're helping somebody, you're being infected. Enough about that. And this is great news. North Las Vegas Police Department hacked by ZHC, the official website of the North Las Vegas Police Department, uh, which is www.joinlvpd.com, defaced yesterday by ZHC Black One Hacks or Z Company Hacking Crew, or ZHC, an above-shown black deface page with message displayed on the home page. The page indicates the cause of the hack, Stop NATO Attacks on Pakistan. ZHC is a Pakistani hacking group to face thousands of websites before against India, and also this is the second time that Las Vegas Police Department website got hacked. A mirror of the site can be found on thehackernews.com. And last but not least, the security alert... Wi-Fi hotels used to spread malware, according to a report from the Internet Crime Complaint Center, or IC3, in partnership between the FBI and the National White Collar Crime Center, 
Hackers are targeting foreigners' laptops using hotel Wi-Fi. The Internet Crime Complaint Center and FBI have warned the malware is spread through hotel Wi-Fi networks, posing as an update for a popular software product. The number of laptops getting infected with malicious software while using the hotel internet connections is on the rise. That is the news. Those are the updates. Much love to the crew over at HacksRadio.com, MRE, Mr. Fixer, the whole crew. Much love. Enjoy your weekend. We'll be back Monday. More Hacker News then.